Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwame Sha'ala, Koholo, Yimala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekha, Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to our Akim and Akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Jachananawa is coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, wanted to touch on this earthquake in Tokyo. It says terrified guests at Disneyland Tokyo take cover amid 6.2 magnitude earthquake. So damn, you got a Disneyland in Tokyo. America is everywhere. Everywhere you go is Babylon the Great because of this wine, man. This place done spread is 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 weirdoism all over the globe. It says guests at Disneyland Tokyo were left crouching on the pavement of a theme park and cowering. In the attractions gift shop as a 6.2 magnitude earthquake struck Japan's east, east coast yesterday. The quake epicentered off the coast of Chiba while also impacting a Ibaraki prefecture. However, there have been no reports of serious damage or fatalities. No tsunami warnings was issued. It comes less than a month after over 20 people were injured and one killed. During an earthquake in central Japan. So this is the second one within two months, so to speak. But I mean, earthquakes have been happening every day. We was at camp talking about that. We went into the earthquake app and um, it was uh, over a thousand earthquakes yesterday within a 24 hour period. Well, let's see if this will play. It may not, but we'll see. Of course, it's going to be an ad or two, maybe. So Salakia, bear with me here. Then again, it might not even play. Este es Lola y está en Verizon. Y este es el nuevo My Plan. Elige exactamente. Okay, again, so lock your foot up. You know they're going to get their commercials in, man. You know, Esau Edom, he's notorious for making, um, making finances off of catastrophe. Catastrophes. But anyway, it's, it's not. <laughs> Okay, you see what it is. It's about like a minute and 30 seconds of showing them, you know, scared as hell. And, and you know, that kind of reminds me, man. Hey, it's going to be when the Lord comes, man. Oh, my. You think people are cowering now? You think people are just shut up somewhere? Man, it's going to be, man, it's going to be a scary situation for when the Lord comes, man. But anyway, let's go into the scriptures. And the reason why, you know, we bring this out is because it's just simply... What the Lord told us to do, man, is watch me. We're supposed to bring out these particular things, you know, as we see them happening. Because it gives us that we have to warn the flock. We have to warn the people to let them know, hey, what time period we're in, what, what, about where we are on this clock. Now, we don't know the exact day that the Lord is going to come. We don't know the exact month, the exact year. But we do. He did give us a, um, a measuring um, stick, so to speak, with the scriptures. Now, this is Matthew 24 and 3. Start there, it says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahawashai, which the world eagerly calls Jesus, we call him by his original name, is Yahawashai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. And we know that his name is not Jesus. Why? Because the letter J didn't exist when he walked the earth. The letter J is like 500 years old. It was invented in 1524. And, you know, you have these people that say, well, it doesn't matter what you call him. And, hey, I prefer to call him by his right name. We know that he was a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And that was the name that Gabriel gave into, you know, his parents basically to give to to give him. And he spoke in the Hebrew tongue, you know, that 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 was his name. You know, so, I mean, it is what it is, man. You you know, it matters. It matters on this end, because if you're calling on the name of a white Jesus, you're not getting anywhere. That's an idol. You're going to be destroyed for even calling on that name. 
So let's move on. It says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or Mashiach, the anointed one, and shall deceive many. So you got a lot of that going on. You know, that's been going on for quite some time. It says, And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. That's going on on a day to day basis. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's wars going on all over the place right now. See, America is really not telling the people what's really going on out here. That's why you have to watch um, alternative news. You have to look at other news sources. I mean, you got a smartphone, man. It's, you can Google news, world news today, you know, and, and plenty of stories will pop up. You don't have to just look at your local two, four, five, seven, whatever the hell you they may be showing you, you know, with, you know, who got murdered, the traffic, you know, um, you know, it might show you somewhere to go eat since the weather is warmed up, you know, the little bullshit like that's not helping you, man. It's not helping us as a people. It says, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we're not troubled by these things, you know, and we're actually happy to see it happen. We're, you know, you should be if you're in it, it's true. You should be happy to see these things come to pass, right? It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. See? All these are the beginning of sorrows. So we're, we're there, man. And these things were spoken of 2,000 years or so ago, man. So you have to know that how close we are right now. Because we're seeing these things play out on, on, the, on the news like it's nothing, man. And then not to mention, you know, um, the Revelation 13, 16 is coming to pass right before our very eyes. You know, with the um, Neuralink with um, Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? I think just yesterday the FDA approved him chipping people or, you know, um first human trials i think where now he can he can just go ahead and just flow with the flow <laughs> of putting shit in people did you see the one guy he he you know they put something in him you know after he was paralyzed and he was able to walk you know so i mean it is what it is man these are things that we're supposed to be watching for but i seen the earthquake in japan and this was their second one and they're not even talking about that one that happened in turkey what about two months or so ago three months ago almost the one that happened in turkey that killed like 50,000, 60,000 people. They're not even talking about that no more. But like I said, if you just Google how many earthquakes happened today so far, and you're going to see it's probably like 1,000 or so. It, it, throughout the day, it's thousands of earthquakes, man. You know? So these are things that we have to keep an eyeball out on, too. It may seem simple. Let me, matter of fact, let me get this scripture real quick. See, you know, a lot of Jake, they come on these sites, you know, they come on our channels and they be looking for entertainment. But you got to get out of that mode, man, of thinking, you know, this is not an entertainment thing, man. This thing, this truth is serious. And when we bring out these stories, we're warning you. And then you got people coming on the comment board like, oh, man, y'all still talking about that's all y'all talking. All right. Well, hey, shit, go somewhere else. There's plenty of shit on here you can look at. You can watch shorts all day. Ecclesiastes 5 and 15. It says, be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or small. See, this may not seem like much, but this is a part of prophecy. <laughs> Shit, so, you know, as soon as I seen it, I'm like, you know, I'm going to dip into it. I know a lot of brothers don't really get off into the earthquake thing. Some brothers do, but it's a part of the prophecies. I think that, hey, when we see it, we, we might as well, uh, uh, you know, report on that just like we would report on anything else. Okay, so let me just grab one more. Not going to be a long one. This is another one that's going off into um, earthquakes as well. This is 2nd Edges 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee, what signs? The signs that Yahweh was speaking of. You know what I'm saying? And there's other prophecies as well, but he just gave us a list of things. He said to measure thou the time diligently. Not just measure it, but diligently, you know? This is a, a, a commandment from our Lord. It says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I had told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we're in that time where the Lord is visiting this place, man. That's why you're starting to hear a lot about, you know, a lot more about these UFO sightings. And we know what they are. We know that those are the chariots of the Most High. It says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, see that? And uproars of the people in the world, which we know that's happening. People going fucking nuts everywhere, man. 
And it reads, um, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So we can see it. And if you're spiritual, you know, you can see it, man. I mean, you know, I mean, you can run up on the average person these days and say, you know, just say last days. Yeah, we're living, you know, hey, we're, we're definitely living in the lab. You know, people will get into a little conversation with you because people know it. They understand it. But it's just not according to knowledge, man. They don't know what's really going on. They just go about their, oh, you know, they look at it like, oh, yeah, you're right. Things are bad. <laughs> and keep it moving but they're not understanding that these prophecies are playing out right before our very eyes man and it's high time to awake out of sleep and repent so i'll get that and in, in doubt man is this a hey, this is where it's, this is where it's at man romans 13 and 11 he said measure thou the time diligently okay uh romans 13 and 11 it says and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Knowing what time? <laughs> Knowing the time that we're in. That list of things that the Lord was talking about. Hey, we're seeing those things play out. So we know that we're in that time period, man. It says in that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than we believe. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. And how do you do that? You have to repent. And how do you repent? First off, you need to know the true names of the Father and Son. The true name of the Father is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one in the Paleo-Hebrew. Like I said, there's no letter J in, um, you know, the letter J was invented in 1524. So they wasn't calling our Father Jehovah. <laughs> they wasn't calling him that, man. His name is Yahweh, you know. So you have to repent to him. He sent his son, Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in Paleo-Hebrew. To for the sins of, of mainly you so-called well for only for you so-called blacks, Hispanics and, and Native Americans. Let me, you know, clear that up. You so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, um, Latinos, Dominicans, Haitians, Jamaicans, Hondurans, you know, all these different names that your oppressor gave you. Those are not your names. You are Hebrew Israelites from your respective tribe. You come from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. See, Jacob had 12 sons. Jacob's name was changed to Israel which is Yahshua Allah in the Hebrew tongue. He had 12 sons, and then them 12 sons had children, and those 12 children, 12 sons became 12 nations, basically, but it's all one nation as the nation of Israel. And we are a vast nation of people, man. We're, you know, we can't even be measured or counted. That's how vast we are, and we look like all different people, you know, the, these days. We, used to, we started off being a dark, melanated people, but as time went on and all the captivities we've been into, you know, we lost that that melanated look, so to speak, you know, and our people look like everybody. I mean, you can see it, it's, it's Israelites that look like so-called Chinese people. It's it, Israelites that look like so-called Japanese people, so on and so forth. It's, it, it's Israelites that look like so-called white people. But the spirit bears witness, you know, with the spirit of Yahweh. That's how we know who we are. You know, we, we're the only people that fit these curses. So, you know, you have to repent to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. And, you know, come out of those works of darkness. And the way that you come out of those works of darkness is you, you get into these scriptures. You find out the do's and don'ts of what you're supposed to do and what you're not supposed to do. And you try, you change, man. As you figure out things that you're, you know, you were, you, you've done wrong, you repent and you, you change and don't do it no more. You see what I'm saying? It's simple. I mean, you know, you go into the scriptures. We're not perfect. You know, we're not going to be saved by the law. We are saved by what our Lord, Yahweh Shai done for us, you know, by that grace. But that grace period is going to going to um, that door of grace is going to close at a certain point. So you got these Christians running around out here telling people that they're saved by grace already. Like you're already saved. You can just live the way that you want to live. That's not true. Faith without works is dead. You got to put some work in, man. The Lord knows the heart of the man. You know, though we're, we're in these um, imperfect bodies and make mistakes. We still have to try our hardest to, you know, keep his commandments and be pleasing to him. You can't just. You know, um, go out here and just do what you want to do. You know, that's why Christian. That's why no one is, is actually that's why Christianity is not really it, it, it doesn't help anyone. Because those very people that go to church on Sunday, do all that hooping and hollering. Those are some of the, 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 the wickedest people in the world, man. They come out. They come out of those churches and do all, all manner of wickedness. 
They don't keep the scriptures. They don't keep what the scriptures say. And actually, they'll tell you that the law, statutes, and commandments are done away with. That was the Old Testament. You don't have to do what the Lord said no more. You're saved by grace because he sent his son, white Jesus. See? And that's another thing with that white Jesus crap. That's a lie, man. That's idolatry. If you worship in white Jesus, hey, that's idolatry, man. You got to get rid of that now. I mean, I got us into the pro um, the trouble that we're in as a people. That spiritual fornication, man. The Lord said he'll have no other God before him. White Jesus is, 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 is definitely an idol that the so-called white man painted, whitewashed, and gave to you during slavery, man. And our people, they, they, they will fight you over that shit. That's how strong of a delusion <laughs> our people are under, man. Well, anyway, I wanted to touch on this, man. We're definitely in the last days. It is high time to awake out of sleep and repent with that. Kwame Yashallah.